everyone if you remember we are doing the small company network before we done two video completed and we enable the ospf now we need to check and later as we discuss we will modify this lab we will create the vlan and inter vlan we will do and we will configure dscp we are going to see that later now let's do whatever we done before i think we finish the ospf configuration till r4 so i can go and i can check like ospf is working perfectly or we are facing any issue and after that we will assign the ip to the computer and we will check now i am assigning the ip manually later we will use the dscp server also okay so let me write show ip root ospf okay and if you see here what you can say you have here 2.3 2.0 3.0 4.0 so i am checking in r1 so this is a 2 3 4 so all routes we are getting so spf is working perfectly let's try to assign the ip address to the computer and then we will ping and we will check all the branches are able to communicate or not if they are working then this lab is successfully done after that we need to modify this lab what we need to modify means here we are going to remove this ip from this interface from the lan side and we are going to configure here vlan 10 vlan 20 vlan 30 40 50 60 70 80 and here we are going to use the sub interface we are going to enable the ospf under the sub interface and we are going to configure the dscp in the sub interface okay we will do that later now our time is testing so what i will do here in this side only i will assign the ip to one computer here and one server is to save the time here also one computer one server one computer one server one computer one server and we will ping and we will try to access the, the server and check if it is working we can say this is a basic lab we close we are going to modify this lab we are going to add the vlan and we need to do inter vlan okay we are going to see that one so let me go and do that one we will wait for some time and then uh let's test that one so i will use like this pc i will assign the ip 192.168.1.2 i will assign this in the machine and then we will check so i will go here we will assign the ip here and gateway will be 1.1 as we have the router interface ip this one okay and server also as i told assign the ip to server so i will use 192.168.1.3 and we can copy and we can paste this ip inside the server and gateway will be same thing 1.1 here and after that what we will do we will uh, go here 1.1 we use here is 2.1 so let's go here and give this 2.1 here okay 2.2 we will use 2.2 i will copy i will paste here i will go to this machine and then we will paste the configuration here 2.1 and we will go here and put here 2.3 we will configure here to the server and here we will paste here sorry 2.3 that is 2.1 is a gateway so this one is also finished now i will go here this should be 3.1 so i will assign here 3.1 let me go here 3.1 i will assign the ip address here so we will go here we will assign here 3.1 and sorry 3.2 we will use because 3.1 we already assigned to the router so this will be 3.2 and i will go to this pc this will be 3.3 i will copy i will paste this inside this machine and here will be 3.1 and what else we have here we need to do 4.1 i think everything we done let's finish this one 4.2 we can say i will assign the ip same thing you need to do for all computer now i am doing only one computer one server because we are going to remove this configuration and we are going to do different configuration before that one we are just testing so for that testing purpose we are doing this one okay i will go here i will assign this ip here i will go here 4.1 and now we can check here i assign ip everything is good let me go to this machine and check here i can uh, i can ping i am here 1.2 so let me ping here 2.2 so let me write here ping 192.168.2.2 
so i am pinging this one it should work if it is working then our configuration is correct let's see now it is pinging 2.2 is pinging let me check 2.3 also pinging or not so this one is also pinging because we enable the ospf so it should work so see here it is also working now we need to check 3.2 this one we need to check if you see 3.2 3.3 so let's check that one also 3.2 3.3 we will check then 4.2 4.3 we need to check and then we need to check the http https server is working or not then our this lab will be finished so i will check 3.3 is working or not so if you see 3.3 is also working here let's see yeah 3.3 is also working now we need to check 4.2 why i am saying 4.2 because if you remember whatever ip i assign here i assign here 4.2 4.3 so i am checking first packet will be dropped because of the arp address resolution protocol so no need to worry for that one and then 4.3 it is working it is working i think perfectly no issue here okay so now everything is okay now we can check the web services so i can see this web services 192 168 1.3 so i can go to the browser i can type this ip and check the web services is working or not 192 168 1 1.3 and press enter it is working this web services now i can check this web services so i can close this and open again or i can type directly also so this is the ip 192.168.2.3 i am now checking the http okay if you want to check https you press s and press enter so this will also work because in this server you have both if you go in the services if you click here you have http that is working on the port number 80 https it is working on the port number 443 so both are working here if you check one that is enough so where we are checking on which computer let's see i think in this computer we are checking okay so this one 2.3 this is also working now we need to check this server 3.2 so i can close and open or i can type directly directly so here i will write 192.168.3.2 and press enter so this is also working and now we need to check the 4.3 4.3 is working or not so ospf we enable so all the routes are we are having so everything should work okay so let's see 192.168 4.3 it is also working so our lab successfully done here we did not use any vlan default vlan whatever we have we use that one only default vlan and we have server and pc i use only one server one pc but you need to use both pc and both server so what we need to do we need to make the vlan here vlan 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 80 and put this port in that one and do the inter vlan and enable that interface in ospf remove this ip from this interface do the sub interface okay so we will do that in our next uh, video thank you bye